Supernatural. Hi, I just want to welcome you to my live today as we talk about something that maybe nobody's ever taught this to you before, but I'm going to teach it to you. And it's how to discern the presence of the angels. It's really important, especially when we know and understand what angels do. Uh, we understand why we would even need to discern them, why we'd, we would even need to, to locate them when they're around us, when they're near. And they are. Uh, if you're a believer in Jesus, uh, the angels of God are there with you, helping you, uh, because God has assigned them to do that. Okay, so, so I'm excited about this topic today. Make sure that you share this. Uh, people need to hear what you're going to learn today. Uh, share this on your social media and uh, just keep sharing and sharing and make sure. Uh, tag some people. Tag some people that need to know this. Uh, you know, how to discern and locate the presence of the angels that are here with you. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about that today. I'm very excited about it. And um, happy Friday uh, or Saturday, depending on where you're at in the world. I'm looking forward to a very powerful weekend and um, you know, here at Harvest Church and, and wherever you're at, I'm sure you're uh, going to experience the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit as well, wherever you're worshiping. And so enjoy that. If you don't have a place to worship, uh, check out Harvest Church online okay and we can be uh you know in the gap between you uh being in a an actual physical church we are here to to help you in the gap time if you need it we have an online church available for you or come to turlock all right come to ripon uh, we have a few campuses uh that that you can join as well all right so let's get back to our topic we're talking about how to discern the presence of the angels and this is part of uh, several subjects subjects and topics that i've been covering and just like short bites because they're part of the things, they're one of many things that we cover in the Excellence in the Supernatural Online Mentorship. And that's going to uh, open uh, the first session on June 8th. And so I want to invite you to be a part of that. And it's a really powerful community of people from all walks of life. Um, but we are learning the Word of God together. Um, you know, it's very intentional. Uh, you, these are, you know, you you're going to learn ministry on a whole nother level. You're going to see the power of God um, uh, operate in you and through you on a whole nother level. And you can be very anchored in community, be anchored to the word of God. And so I've seen uh, lots of people come out of the, this mentorship, writing books, uh, podcasting, uh, you know, doing, doing uh, various media uh, things, um, starting their coaching, um, you know, their coaching businesses and, you know, business in general and just, just wherever they're at bringing the kingdom of God. And so it's a very good group of people, uh, very community based. And so I want you to consider it. Uh, again, we're, we're going to start in just a few weeks. Okay. Uh, the registration price, it goes up June 1st. So you want to register now do have some monthly options uh, for you if you need to, to uh, take that route, but just go to jenniferevaz.com and you'll see all the detail. Okay. All right. So let's get, let's get back to our topic today. Let's talk about how to discern the presence of the angels. Um, first of all, if you're a believer in Jesus, uh, God has assigned an angel to you. Uh, you know, it's your guardian angel and we just uh, see the, the, topic of angels all throughout the Bible, especially in the New Testament, we see the angels all around the people of the church as they are engaging their assignments in the Lord. Um, you have a, a protective angel, uh, you know, a guardian angels. Angels are assigned to children. You know, we see all of that in the Word of God. And so angels are here. Uh, they're, they're very active on your behalf. And, you know, if you could see what the angels are doing, because God has assigned them uh, to do such things, you know, you'd have peace in the most difficult situations. We learned that from the story of Elisha. You know, and he saw all the angels on the horizon, you know, when, when he was being hunted down or because he was such a powerful prophet. Okay. And so we want to know how to discern them. So, so the way, first of all, the way we discern uh, spiritual beings like that is you have to have a gift from the Holy Spirit. And it's called the gift, uh, the gift of discerning the spirits or distinguishing the spirits. And we see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And that is a supernatural ability from the Holy Spirit 
that allows you uh, to see the spirit of the matter, whether it's divine, demonic, or what the motive, human motive is, you know, the motive of the heart. And of course, naturally you would, or supernaturally, you would discern the presence of the angels with this gift. The thing is, a lot of people don't know how to identify them. Um, so it's kind of like, like a, like an infant, an infant doesn't know, uh, the design of things, doesn't know how to articulate visually, um, you know, or articulate what they are visually seeing. Everything's, you know, not quite yet identifiable and, and definable to, um, children and, and infants. Okay. So that's where a lot of people are at and why they're not seeing what is there. All right. So, so hopefully today I can help bridge that for you and i just release upon you in the name of jesus um the gift of discerning of spirits i just stir that up uh on your life in the name of jesus and and you will see you will discern uh the things of the spirit and the holy spirit will give you eyes to see and i just prophesy that over you i release that over you right now in jesus name okay all right so angels what first of all um, the, the name angel, it's a Hebrew word, and it's actually the word Malik, and that means messenger. And so an angel, his primary duty, you know, um, well, one of its duties is, is as, to act as a messenger. So it's either going to give you a message, like something you can verbally understand, um, or it's going to do something that is a message. Okay, so it'll give you one, or it will do something that is a message. And if you can see the angels like that, um, you'll see what they're doing. And then you'll know what God is doing because angels do what God is doing. Angels, angels, um, you know, are in perfect alignment with the will of God. And so you can, you know, you can partner with God just noticing what the angels are doing at the moment at the time. I'll give you an example. Um, one time I saw these four angels on our church platform and I discerned by the Holy Spirit why they were there. I knew that they were there because God had sent them uh, to to uh, bring provision uh, to to our house, to people in our congregation, to people in our church. And we actually see that in the Old Testament in a situation where where an angel was sent ahead of Isaac uh, to prosper his way. That's exactly what it says. And so angels will be sent ahead to prosper us. OK, so I saw these four angels and I discerned what they were, why they were there. And it just happened to be at the time where we were receiving the Lord's tithes and giving our offerings. Uh, you know, it was right at that time I saw these angels. And so because I saw them, I'm like, I'm going to make sure to give an extra offering today because I, I just saw what was going to happen. Okay. And, and so I did that. And then as soon as the, the Lord's tithes and the offerings were received, I saw those angels rush out. So I knew what they were going to do. They were going to be the, the reason uh, people were going to experience supernatural provision. Now, keep in mind, God's our provider, but he will uh, release the angels uh, to, to do that assignment. Okay, so we always want to give glory to God um, and, kind of, and put that in its proper place. Okay, so, so I'll give you three things, three ways that you discern the presence of the angels. Um, the first one uh, is that you will see them. See, that's in essence what the gift of discerning of spirits is. It's uh, a sensory, um, it's a gift where you, you receive information through a sensory experience uh, before an intellectual experience, okay? So it'll run through your, like you'll sense things, you'll hear things, see things, uh, smell things, taste things. And they're actually um, points of discernment. And when you know the Holy Spirit and have a relationship with Him, uh, you'll actually, you know, be able to, to, um, you know, with with Him, identify what is what. Okay, and it kind of changes your world because now, you know, when something, when I feel something or I sense something, I I don't presume things. I actually have a dialogue with the Holy Spirit because it might be a point of discernment. Okay, so that's what happens with the angels. You know, the first thing is you're you're gonna see them. Um, you know, you'll actually see them. Now, I've noticed that people who are just starting to see the angels, uh, they won't see the whole form of them, but they'll see them as maybe a light or like a, a mist that's, that's uh, you know, luminescent uh, glows or kind of like an orb. It'll, it'll look like that uh, to them or they'll see flashes of light at you know, out, uh, you know, out of the corners of their eyes and it's not a medical condition. Okay. And, um, so, so they'll see them just like that. And, and so there's a, many people start 
like that they'll start seeing them just kind of like you know as a form not really identifiable you know because their eyes are not yet uh, tuned attuned to the the actual form of the angels other other people will see them exactly as they are um, you know and I've had both experiences you know I've seen I've seen them um, uh, when I was in Chicago years ago they came into the room like a band okay and they all look different because um, God created them he didn't create them all the same shape and size even um, but they all look different um, you know, and <laughs> they carry the glory of God, totally wrecked my meeting. I'll say that, you know, in a good way, uh, you know, um, that I saw them all come in. I could see their form, um, uh, you know, so you will see them and, and, you know, by the gift of discerning of spirits. Okay. Um, the second thing is, um, uh, looking here, the second thing is you will feel them. Okay. So you'll see them and you will feel them. Okay. We see in uh, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 in the amplified version it says who makes his angels winds and his ministering servants flames of fire okay he makes his angels winds and his ministering servants flames of fire so you might feel the presence of an angel as a wind it, it'll be a, like a wind like it's not the air conditioning um you can't have wind in this building and yet there's a wind here okay um uh, you know it, it'll you know you'll feel that that kind of breath or something like that and it's actually the presence of an angel or you'll feel the fire of god uh now the you know the presence of the fire of the lord can come you know it can be sourced differently with even within god's realm you know from the holy spirit from an angelic being um you know or some other way okay but angels too they they can be identified uh by the feeling of the fire and the flames of god um you know and, and you'll actually feel that and so I, I remember years ago, um, you know, I honestly would not be able to tell you how I knew this, but I knew in my spirit, um, I, I noticed that two unusual winds came through my window and I identified them as, now I'm here in California, um, but I identified them as um, uh, winds from the Middle East, you know, or, or winds from, actually from Central Asia to be more specific, um, winds from Central Asia, two distinct winds from Central Asia. And I'm like, this is really unusual. I, I just identified these two winds and I knew they were, they were angels and they're from Central Asia. Well, um, not long after, uh, we got a phone call. Uh, from from a person in Central Asia wanting to come to California to our church and stay in the area her and a friend uh, for for a month and so you know that confirmed exactly what I felt coming in already I felt the winds their angels that were sent ahead uh, to prepare the way I felt the presence of those angels I knew I knew what zone in the earth they were from uh, for some reason I was able to discern that and so you will feel them okay you'll feel them as a fire you'll feel them as a wind all right and then the third thing is that you will hear them um, you know so again uh, angels are you know their name is Malek in Hebrew they're messengers uh, you you know you'll see what they're doing that'll that'll tell you something but they'll also speak um, you know or you'll just hear the voice of the angel and and so you know they might give you a message now remember anytime that you know an angel appears to you um, it's expected that you will test it um, and, and, you know, so you, you do that, you say, who do you serve? And you say, uh, what are you here for? Okay. And so they need to be tested. Always, always test those spirits. Um, and then also whenever an angel gives you a message and it says from the Lord, you need to go take that message to a mature person and ask them, uh, you know, a person that is familiar with the angelic stuff and is very biblical. Um, you know, you want to take that message to them and, and get that validated and get it confirmed. OK, because that's important to do that. But nevertheless, they will they will give you a message, you know, a message from the Lord, something you need to hear, um, you know, and so so you will hear them. OK, you might I, I know people who've heard the angels uh, worshiping. Uh, Jesus as as their churches worshiped the Lord so the angels joined in uh, the you know in in the the worship of the people and they worship the Lord with them isn't that interesting okay so there's there's three ways that you can discern uh, the presence of the angels so now you know you can see them and many people start seeing them in kind of a form you know a sh shape or lights 
uh, your flashing lights, um, you know, before they can identify them, you know, full, full, 100 percent, you know, are, uh, you will feel them and you will hear them. OK, so so um, I look forward to talking more about this kind of topic with you. And also, these are the kinds of topics that we cover in the Excellence in the Supernatural uh, online mentorship. I want you to join. I want you to be a part. Um, you know, we can't wait to see you. Make sure that you check it out at JenniferEvaz.com and don't miss out. All right. Thank you so much. God bless.